What's going on, guys? So today, we're going to be talking about the roster update that is happening tomorrow and answering any questions that you guys may have about buying, holding, or even selling off some of these cards while their price is hot and the hype is real. So this is the type of video that you guys have any questions, I will basically reply with stats. I'll look up the stats for that player. I'll reply with the stats and then leave the decision up to you. Of course, you'll need to know their MLB The Show 24 attributes to know if they're playing above those attributes in real life. As always, be sure to like, follow, share, favorite the video, and I'll be sure to make one of these as well, uh, probably within the next week for the next roster update, so stay tuned for that. But first up is going to be Carlos San. Tana six hits against lefties batting 429 since the last roster update with two home runs and an extra base hit against lefties against righties 18 hits batting 327 with two home runs and six additional extra base hits you can easily see him go up to a 78 79 don't know if he'll get to 80 so if you could sell him for 255 stubs or 300 stubs you might want to sell some of him off now and maybe keep the rest for a longer term investment. Next up is Carlos Correa. Nine hits against lefties, batting 474 with three home runs and no additional extra base hits, but batting 474 against lefties. You can see in his inside edge, he gets a bump against lefties. I could definitely see him get that type of bump and going gold. Don't know if it will happen. He is gold priced right now, so if you don't want to risk it, you could sell them for 470 stubs and make that profit right now. Even after tax, you're still getting back over 400 stubs. And just so you're aware, he's still batting 387 against righties with 24 hits, one home run and four doubles. Next up is Brandon Nimmo. Six hits against lefties batting 286 with one home run and two extra base hits. Against righties he is batting 318 with 14 hits, four home runs, and one additional extra base hit. You can definitely see him getting up to that 79 Will he get the plus four to hit gold? We'll have to wait and see. But he is throwing, going for 378 studs, which is just under an 80 overall quick sell at 400. So if you just want to get rid of him, you don't think he's going to go gold. If you think he's going to get stuck at 79, I'd be selling some of these right now. Next up is Jerkson Profar. Eight hits against lefties, batting 348 with a home run and two extra base hits. Against righties, though, 11 hits. Hits batting 239 with two home runs and two extra base hits. The thing here is he already hits really well against righties besides the power. So I could see him get a power boost against righties. However, his contact has not been good against righties. So he could get a downgrade. I'm very not so sure about jerks and pro far at 78 he could go 79 he could go 80 or he could stay the same or he could go down because of that contact versus righties but at 900 stubs if you got hit on him early like i did if you got him for 284 stubs and i'd be selling jerks and pro far even at the 600 mark let alone 900 definitely a sell for me right now jerks and pro and keep in mind if he does go gold if you sell him now and he does go gold and he stays hot you can reinvest in him. next up is anthony santander six hits against lefties batting 231 not the greatest but three home runs no additional extra base hits so that that average of 231 could hurt his contact versus lefties but against righties he's got 14 hits batting 246 with seven home runs and an additional extra base hit so power versus righties can go up contact versus righties could probably get a little boost uh, from 53 it could possibly get him to that 79 that inside edge has him at right now or it could bump him up to the 80 he's another sell for me you can sell him for 400 now but you can put orders up for 700 stubs as above an 81 overall quick sell I would be selling Anthony Santander. Next up is Paul Skeens. Now, this is an interesting one. This is one of my pre-orders I would be doing. However, I don't think he goes diamond in this update. But Paul Skeens, 8.59 Ks per nine, or uh, hits per nine, 
11.5 Ks per nine, 1.1 home runs per nine, and 1.1 walks per nine. His hits per nine are a little high, uh, 8.59. So that might not move, but he needs a Ks per nine boost. He needs a walks per nine boost. He needs a K, uh, home runs per nine boost. I say he goes 83, 84 in this update. He could sneak diamond, but if I was doing pre-orders, I'd be looking at getting him under an 83 or under an 84 quick sell and make profit that way. Other than that, if you got him early and I wouldn't mind selling them for 2100 because if he gets up to an 84 84 quick sales for 1500 if you could sell them for 2100 that's profit and then you could just reinvest in him for a diamond upgrade if he goes diamond you miss out on a little bit of stubs but better safe than sorry is the way I like to do it with roster updates I'd rather you know make a little bit less but be guaranteed that profit, then lose it. Next up is Hunter Green. He did not have the greatest last start. However, he still has 6.95 hits per nine, 11 Ks per nine, 1.6 home runs per nine, but he does have 3.7 walks per nine. I still really think that that Ks per nine boost could still get him up there and his hits per nine at 6.95 is not terrible do they make his walks per nine even less i don't know he could still go up to an 81 82 but because of the last start he might be a stale and stick at 80 we'll have to wait and see i got out of him i got him at quick sell for 400 stubs i just quick sold them and then reinvest them in somebody else however he could still go up i might get some just to see if he does go up at 400 i don't know if he goes down i would hope he doesn't go down that is the risk you take if you give him at 400 stubs and he goes down to a 79. But like I said, I get I got out on him, so you can get out on him, or you can hold him and see if he gets that plus one or plus two and make some stubs out. Next up, Royce Lewis. I don't know if he goes diamond this update, guys. I know his price is crazy, but I just don't know if it happens. But he had six hits against lefties, batting 333 with a home run and extra base hit against righties. 14 hits batting 264 with seven home runs and two extra base hits if you see his righties numbers he's got really good power against righties his contact's a little bit lower and at that that average 264 that probably fits it against lefties is where he has the most room for improvement i just don't see him getting enough i say he goes 83 84 he does not hit diamond in this update therefore at 2,400 stubs, I'd be selling now. Well, not sell now, but put a sell order. In. Put sell, create sell order, 2,439. Next up is Steven Kwan. I think he has the best shot at going diamond this update. 10 hits against lefties, batting 400 with zero home runs, but one extra base hit. But against righties, 18 hits, batting 419 with four home runs and four extra base hit. Give this man like 60, 70 power against righties. He's absolutely crushing righties power-wise. Give him the power boost. Give him that big, big, big power boost against righties. And that's where I see him going diamond. Anyways, he's already at diamond price. At 3,600, I'd probably sell him. I don't know if he goes to an 86. So 85 is quick sell for 3,000. If you can get 36 after tax, it's still 3,300. That's still a above a 3000 quick sell uh he got to get to an 86 and then he'd be worth 36 50 or 37 50 uh as a quick sell if it gets to an 86 i just don't know if it happened next up we have to oscar hernandez he did take a per little personal days but six hits against lefties batting 333 with two home runs and two extra base hits against lefties. Love to see it. Love to see that average go up against lefties just a little bit. Against righties, 12 hits, batting 226, not the greatest, but four home runs and three extra base hits. So give him that power boost against righties and give my man diamond. I really hope he goes diamond. I held him. Uh, I'm, I'm just hoping for the best at this point. I don't think he really goes down. I'm just hoping that he gets at least a plus one but a plus two would be amazing. Next up, Francisco Lindor. What's crazy about him is might be some room for investment still. I don't know, but let's see. Seven hits against lefties, batting 304 with one home run and two extra base hits against lefties. 14 hits, batting 292, three home runs and five extra base hits against righties. Give this man that contact boost. Give that man the power boost against righties. Get that man to diamond. Could happen. People didn't think it was happening. This guy was still quick sell a couple days ago until those videos made about him. He might be a very 
good one to do some pre-orders in on because not a lot of people are doing it. And finally, Garrett Crochet. He's like another one that I think has the best chance to go diamond, at least for a pitcher. And with 7.06 hits per nine, 13.5 Ks per nine, 0.4 home runs per nine and 1.8 walks per nine. Give him that case per nine boost. And I think he hits diamond if they give him that case per nine boost. At 3,800 stubs though, if you got in on him early and 3,800 stubs sounds good to you, I would take that profit right now. I'd be trying to sell at least some of them off or at least as many as I could. Even if the sell now at 3,200, that's still around 2,900 stubs. That's still a good enough profit just in case he does not go. Next up is Gunnar Henderson. Don't have the stats on him, but this man has been killing the baseball and he might be close to hitting a 90 overall. I don't think he gets it this update. I actually do think he possibly gets a plus two and goes to an 89 overall. Anyways, that is all I have for the roster update. Leave your guys' comments down below with any other players. I will try to reply as soon as I can before tomorrow's roster update. Be sure to like, follow, share, favorite this video. Be sure to subscribe and turn notifications on, and I will see you guys in the next video.